Hey, what's up guys? This is Samila here. Uh, so a few days ago, I shared with my Instagram friends a post that I felt the need to share. And uh, it was pertaining to taking advice from people, you know, whether it was family or therapists, friends, whomever, and the consequences of those things, you know, of taking advice. So I'll go ahead and just start with reading what I wrote on Instagram. How many times have you asked or taken advice from your friends, family members, your boo, or therapist? Reality is people will tell you what you want to hear to satisfy you, keep you where you are. Most of the time it's not godly advice, usually a temporary fix to have you returning with more advice and opinions. I used to attend therapy. And everything my therapist taught was for instant gratification purpose, self-indulging of temporary pleasures. Everything said was accommodated to what I wanted. There was no solid godly advice. Whatever I said I wanted, she would respond, yeah, go for it. Even when I knew it wasn't right, which led me further down the wrong path and even further from God. I loved outside opinions and advice because I wasn't held accountable. The advice and opinions was convenient because it required no real changes. God is the real counselor. Proverbs 25, 19. Confidence in an unfaithful man in time of trouble is like a broken tooth and a foot out of joint. Proverbs 14, 12. There is a way which seem right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Isaiah 9 and 6 For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. I shared this post with my friends because it came upon my heart and I believe it was definitely from the Lord because I know that I'm not the only one that seeks advice and opinions from others, you know, maybe currently or in the past and learned that that's definitely not the best way to go about it, especially if people are, you know, babying you, you know, giving you what you want to hear. Sometimes we like our ears tickled. We want to hear things that make us feel comfortable to where we're not held accountable. And that, my friend, can ultimately be dangerous. It can hinder us of our growth. It could keep us away from God, the things of God, and definitely steer us down the wrong path. Okay, I'm, I'm not saying that taking advice from people is wrong, like we shouldn't do it. Definitely listen to what people have to say. You know, listen to them, open your ears, and you will find that the things that they are saying to you does not make sense. You realize that they're just going along with the flow. You're not really getting real counsel. You're basically hearing what you want to hear. So you're just getting advice of things that you already had in mind in your heart that you wanted to hear. And uh, ultimately, people don't give us the truth. They will maybe give us half truth. But with God, through prayer, I learned that he give us all the truth. There is nothing held back from God. A no is a no from God. A yes is a yes from God. Um, there's no maybes. There's no confusion. And there's nothing in between that. So... I would highly recommend being careful of the advice uh, that you get from 
outside people. Like I said, that could be your relatives, that could be your boo, that could be a therapist, that could be anyone, you know, your best friend. If it's hindering you, you know, if you're comfortable with those answers that they're giving, if you're comfortable with that advice, nine times out of 10, it's only said for you to get out, for you to get out of their faces and for you to go ahead and continue in what you want to do. You have to ask God, like, is this the right thing for me to do? Should I be doing these things? You know, it's very easy to follow behind men because they're present. And that's why people don't want to pray, humble themselves and pray and ask God for advice, ask him for counsel during, during times where we need that the most, especially during desperate situations. And so, you know, most people would offer you a drink. They will offer you something to smoke. They'll offer you temporary pleasures to, to mask the pain. But does that help in the long run? You know, some things you have to ask yourself, will this help me in the long run? Or is it just a temporary fix for me to try to drown out my problems, to try to drown out things that are hurting me presently? But God would never do you like that. He would never give you something that's temporary to where you have to be eager for more. God is God will provide you with the the peace, the peace of contentment. So you don't have to wander around for anything, for anyone, um, for any substance to rely on to feel peace. That's in, that's uh, temporary pleasure. God would never lead you astray to do those things. Those are things that that's uh, available, that's easy to get. You know what I mean? So I think that's where that comes from and the advice that we get from others, even therapists, guys. Like I said, you know, ther- my therapist was like that. So there was things that I asked her. I only asked her because I knew that she would say yes, that, you know, it would be something to to stroke my ego if you will something that i wanted my ears to be tickled by like yeah i got someone someone's opinion on this and yeah i should go out and do these things and um deep within i wasn't satisfied with these with her answers i wasn't satisfied with my train of thought either that's how i knew it was wrong because god was telling me that it's not right so I just felt like I was in a spiritual battle, just repeating the same cycles over and over again. So my friends, I will highly recommend humbling yourselves before God, praying to him, asking for his, what do he think? What do he want you to do? What path does he want you to go on? What's your purpose? Because you will find that Continuously asking people who one, don't understand you and two, don't know your story like God does. It's easy to get off track even further than you were before asking of opinions from other people. You know, asking of opinions can lead you further in trouble. It can lead you further away from God. It could lead you to total destruction. Okay, I've been there. I would know. I know. And that's why I'm sharing this with you guys, that not all advice is good advice. Some advice is convenient because it's things that we want to hear and we don't want to be accountable, but it's time for us to be honest with ourselves. 